the next equation we will be taking the copper hydroxide and heating it to change it to copper oxide and hydrogen. So, on the left side there is one copper, and then two oxygens because of the two outside the parentheses, and two hydrogens. And then on the right side there's one copper there, one oxygen, and two hydrogens. So to balance the oxygens on this side, because there's two, one on this side and two on the other, we're going to need to put a two in front of this. And so that changes it to two oxygens, except then there's two coppers. So then on this side, if we put a two in front of there, there are now two coppers. I don't think that's right. So previously I said that copper hydroxide would separate into copper oxide and hydrogen once it was heated. But that is not correct since there are now four oxygens there. Since the two sides can never be equal, the real outcome should be water instead of hydrogen. So then now, there's one copper, two oxygens, and two hydrogens on this side. And on the other side there's one copper, two oxygens, and two hydrogens on this side. So now it is balanced. The copper oxide and hydrogen was really